Hi everyone, this is me, Morgan Birch, reporting for Kids First, age 11 and 3 fourths, and today we're reviewing a horrific and frightening film called Aliens. This is the second film to be added onto the Alien series, and I had the pleasure of being able to see it at the Burbank International Film Festival 2016, because it is its 30th anniversary. I actually got to have the pleasure of talking with Janet Goldstein, who plays Pri Private Vasquez in this film, as well as Michael Bean, who plays Corporal Hicks. They were wonderful to talk to, and they gave me some great info. I had actually no idea that they're making another wonderful Aliens film called Aliens Convent. It is going to be absolutely fantastic and frightful as well. Now, this film was probably one of the best films in the series because it wasn't frightening, scary like the first one. My parents told me that the first one is a little bit too over-the-top scary for my age. I'll have nightmares about it. But I totally understand that, and I think this was actually pretty even play to go out on it. Because we had the war part in this film, because it's definitely about trying to kill the aliens and get them away from them as possible, to tell you the truth. And then, it also was about the aliens trying to kill them and all that, which was the scary part. And the storyline kept me very entertained, while the same, same time you're like looking about like where are the aliens going to be next which was probably one of the best things about this film. Now we also have the incredible cast of Michael Bean, who is Corporal Hicks. His character is very brave and smart and a little funny. He's wonderful, and he was actually a replacement for the first guy who was going to do this. Let's just say something happened. Then we have Janet Goldstein, who I have also had the pleasure of talking to, who is Private Vasquez. She was amazing. She's one of the lead female characters, along with Sigourney Weaver. And both of these wonderful characters show girl power all the way, even before girl power was a popular word, which I'm very happy about. They show that girls can be funny and tough and strong and quite amazing as well. Girls can do extraordinary things no matter what their age is. Now, Sigourney Weaver plays the one and only Ellen Ripley, or Ripley as many people know her by, and she was just perfection in this film. She's really smart and talented, and she really did bring her character to life, which I did enjoy very much. Now, this was actually so much fun to go to, and a wonderful event as well. And I'm probably going to say one of my favorite scenes is probably when mm, Sigourney Weaver is trying to help Newt, played by the one and only fantastic Carrie Henn. She's an eight-year-old little girl, and she has been dealing with these aliens and living with them for months by herself. And Ripley is just trying to find out if there's any other survivors, like her family or anything. And I think this was actually a wonderful moment because we got to find out the connection between these two wonderful characters. And I really think that it was just a very amazing the way they portrayed this. Now, my favorite character definitely is Sigourney Weaver. She is the one and only main star of Girl Power, before it was even made a word, and absolutely just did wonderful. Thank you so much, and I'm hoping that she's in the next film. I don't know. Maybe. And this was definitely great. Now, I would have to say that I am giving this definitely the age range of probably 10 and up because it's too scary for younger kids and the older kids will probably know that it's just graphics and it's all fake. So as long as they know that it's fake and graphics, they'll probably be okay. But then again, adults will also love connecting with a film that they have seen or have missed a great film and they'll love it, definitely. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I want to give this probably the perfect stars of 5 out of 5 shooting fire stars. They were terrific, and extraterrestrial life was just as peak, to tell you the truth. Now, I give my third day of this great Burbank International Film Festival of 2016 5 out of 5 shooting stars. Bye, see you next time on Kids First, and to catch out even more coverage about the Burbank Film Festival, as well as the Q&A with the one and only Janet Goldstein and Michael Bean, check out our wonderful YouTube page, or our radio show, or even our Huffington Post blogs. Bye, see you next time on Kids First. This is Morgan Birch signing out.